Hello everyone, I am back with another citrus video. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. More than a review today, we're going to do a first time reaction of the Citrus Plus chapter for Volume 6. It's the first chapter uh, titled September 24th, so it's been since January that we had a new chapter. And that was when uh, Volume 5 was released in Japan and we had the September 10th chapter. So without further ado, let's dive in. We skipped May's birthday. If this is September 24th, which you can't expect Saburo Uta to do what you'd expect her to do or what you'd want her to do. She is kind of full of surprises. I mean, if the what August 24th chapter was any indication, the birthday or post birthday celebration chapter was any indication, you got to be careful of what you set your expectations for because you might end up getting surprised. All right, all right, for real this time. So we have a full cover chapter. They're on the train. May says, oh no, Yuzu says, where are you off to? This isn't the way home. You, Yuzu said, mind if I tag along? <laughs> oh, she's looking mischievous. And May with that face. You haven't received permission to make stops after school. I expect you to report for cleaning duty first thing tomorrow. <laughs> Wherever you go, I'll gladly follow. Well, that's sweet. All right. Next page. Oh, yeah, this this art right here, I saw it on Twitter. I'm being painted with, you, with your hue in a crimson tinted world, September 24th. Yeah, this... Drawing is so gorgeous. I would definitely get a wall scroll or a poster of this. It's chef's kiss. Come on. Can't you just let it slide just this once? No. Rules are only effective so long as everyone adheres to them. All right, May. I cannot simply make exceptions for those I am personally close to. Although, you seem to have gotten a bit too comfortable with cleaning duty as of late. <laughs> Yeah, that's right, Yuzu. Get on your knees and clean. So perhaps I ought to come up with a more compelling punishment for you. Ooh, what does May have in mind? I'd like to know. Very interested. I wouldn't have to be here if you weren't so ridiculously cute. I don't want people to start hitting on you while you're in an unfamiliar area. I'm perfectly capable of looking after myself. Yeah, that's a bad, bitch, bad bitch May I'm looking for. But... He, this is going to be good because it's actually going to deal with someone else hitting on May. And I did see a little bit of, not really spoilers, but like a picture here and there. And there is a guy involved. But not to panic, they get married in the end, so it's okay. I don't know. You can be surprisingly vulnerable, May. <laughs> True. That's not to say you're super gullible or anything, but like, I still worry about you sometimes, you know? I have some important business to take care of today. I expect it to take quite a bit of time. Will you be able to behave yourself while I'm busy? Come on, I'm not a little kid. I'll be fine. Oh, heck. Oh, girl. <laughs> She's touching her leg. Girl, that is, that is, that is scandalous. <laughs> huh? Oh, snap. Oh, May. <laughs> she said, by the way, Yuzu Top is a myth. May Dom is the only thing that's real. Hey, look, I'm, I'm a fan of both. I don't care as long as it happens. Wow. Um, okay. She... <laughs> She got, she inched her way just a little bit and then, that, isn't that citrus and citrus plus in a nutshell? Like it gets you, it, it teeters on the edge, it's smutty. While we are in uniform, we are perceived as representatives of the academy. Please present yourself accordingly. Then why are you touching her legs in public on the train, May? Hmm. Okay. <laughs> Getting her to behave. Well, that is one way. Man, I want to go on a trip or something. 
We should go somewhere together. Yuzu, I know what you're up to. Don't, don't even try to fool us. Don't. Why? Wherever we go, I can't imagine it would be all that different from here. Oof, no dice. Doesn't the thought of giving to travel and explore someplace new make you excited? I don't think traveling is necessary to accomplish that. That's true. For me, simply being with you is enough to make every one of my experiences feel fresh and fulfilling. Aww. That's like when she wrote the letter in uh, Citrus Chapter 36 and, you know, Yuzu added light to her life, basically. And she's reaffirming that here. What? But dump. Whether it's the environment I live in, or the events I find myself embroiled in, or even my own way of thinking, your presence has altered every aspect of my life. Oh. If the version of myself from before I met you were to see me as I am now, I'm sure she would hardly be able to believe her eyes. Oh my god, that's so true! Okay, so citrus haters that watched, I'm sorry, that only watched, uh, you know, four episodes of the anime and are like, May is so toxic. Why don't you read Citrus Plus? Because there's a lot of character development going on here. Like, I mean, it already happened, but May, May is such a good character. You know, at first you think she's toxic, but then she's pretty well written when you actually read through Citrus and Citrus Plus. God, this chapter is really good. So basically, you're saying I've left my mark on you in both body and mind. Jeez, you're such a sweet talker. I'm not sure what part of what I said led you to that ridiculous conclusion, but I assure you that is not what I meant. <laughs> okay. They're at home. Or their apartment complex. You, is you just going to read porn again? What is she reading now? For me, simply being with you is enough to make every one of my experiences feel fresh and fulfilling. Heh. <laughs> it's crazy to think that someone like me has had such a huge impact on May's life. Roll, roll. I'm so happy, hee <laughs> hee. I wonder, though, what about the other way around? How much has May coming into my life influenced me? That's a good question. I'd, I'd love to see that question be posed. Well, it has been, so, yeah. For the longest time, she's been my main driving force. That is true. I decided to go to college because I wanted to spend more time with her. I settled on my dream of becoming a teacher because I wanted to be able to support her. Hehe, <laughs> it's like my whole world revolves around her now. When I look at May, I feel I can do be whatever kind of person I want to be. Being in love is kind of crazy. Well, you know, that is how it is. I mean, I wouldn't say, like, it's not, like, it's, Romantic obsession, it's not like what's deemed as healthy, right? But it really can drive you to do things that you maybe wouldn't have done before. And I think that's the beautiful thing about it. So, I I enjoy that aspect of, of romantic love, and Yuzu does too. Ooh, ah! Did I fall asleep? Ugh, my face is a mess. Gotta fix my makeup. I'll go find a bathroom. I guess I'll just look around inside. Come to think of it, May never told me what she actually came here to do. This seems like a pretty fancy school. It's probably on about the same level as Aihara Academy. I bet the girls here gather for tea parties and stuff all the time. I could totally see that. Whoa, whoa. Whoops, my bad. Okay, so this guy, I didn't want to spoil myself, but I saw something about him being uh, May's childhood friend or a childhood friend. You know, when you say the word childhood friend in, like, anime or manga, it's like, you know, probably the primary love interest. But no, because number one, this is a guy. Number two, and I mean, having a guy in Citrus is is not, it's never good for May because, you know, we had Amamiya. Her dad was an asshole at one point, you know, and being absent. And then we had um, Udagawa, who she was engaged to, and there was this whole drama with him. So now let's let's see the drama with this guy. <laughs> hmm. Oh. Uh -huh. What? What's a girl doing here? 
And hang on, why were you about to walk into the boys' bathroom? Huh? Th there weren't any other bathrooms nearby, so I just kind of assumed this was the girls. What? This is a boys' school? Huh? Are you the girlfriend of one of our students or something? What's his name? Um, hang on, I can explain. Yuzu. May. I've been looking for you. I thought I told you not to wander around on your own. <laughs> Thank goodness you're here. I thought I was about to get arrested for trespassing. Her drawings, sometimes she doesn't finish them. So maybe, yeah, maybe this is a little unfinished. But anyways, that doesn't matter. It's, it's cool. Ha, huh, isn't that essentially what you were doing? You should have let somebody at the front desk know if you needed to come inside. Hang on, that uniform, that strict attitude. Yeah, there's no doubt about it. <laughs> Little chibi may hug, Yuzu hugging me. Oh my god, yes! Anyways, you're I had a May. Man, get your... Don't touch her. Get off of her. Don't you touch her. Yo, this is crazy. Remember me? Man, it's been forever. I'm sorry, but who are you? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> it's me, Arata. Akamine Arata. I'm the son of the headmaster here at Akamine Academy. Wait, you're... Arata? Yeah. Man, I never would have guessed I'd be seeing you again today, May. How many years has it been? About eight, I believe. <laughs> May doesn't give a shit. <laughs> I was quite surprised as well. I certainly didn't expect you to have grown to such a staggering height. Yeah, he's too tall. He, May's like, I think, five foot five, which I'm still taller than May, but this guy, he's he's just, he's a giant. Yeah, I'm a big old brute now, haha. <laughs> I don't know, though. You sure you didn't just get shorter? Don't be ridiculous. Mate, a user doesn't like this. <laughs> anyway, I gotta say. It looks like the rules at Aihara Academy have gotten a whole lot more lenient than he used to be, huh? <laughs> They're like, oh shit. Well, a lot's changed at both of our schools since back when we were kids. Mine's more or less the same way. There's all sorts of pressure coming from inside and out. With the way things are now, it's just so hard to tell what the correct way of doing things is. Oh, this shit again. First it was Sayaka and Miyabi, now this guy. Although, it's supposed to be for the sake of the students that all those rules and punishments are there in the first place. Well, whatever. We're all still just students. Not much we can do about that right now. Still, you know how it is, right? Being related to the head of school gets you thinking about this kind of stuff anyway. That's true. <laughs> he doesn't give a shit. <laughs> I don't know what you came to our school for, but I'm glad we got the chance to see each other again. Next time we meet, let's have a proper chat over a cup of tea or something. No thank you, May doesn't need to chat with you. In order to secure a bright future for Ihata Academy, I will likely be in need of you and your father's support. I look forward to our continued cooperation. That's what it is. It is cooperation. It is business, strictly. Right. Looking forward to it. Um, so, like, uh, here it comes, right? Right, your number. Do you have your phone on you? I do not. <laughs> you usually doesn't like this. Did you, like, leave it at home then? No, I simply don't have one, motherfucker. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I have mine if that works. Oh, um... <laughs> Want to swap contact info? Yeah, Yuzu coming in clutch, because May doesn't need a phone, apparently. Not to add, you know, guys' numbers, that's for sure. Um, mm -hmm. oh, yeah, totally. You're May's sister, right? You're a lifesaver. Thanks a bunch. Here, let me add you on Shine. Oh, instead of Line, it's Shine. Actually, my phone's at home right now. I'm not much of a social media person. Either. I always have to get my friends to help me with that kind of stuff. That's funny, this is the first time in Citrus, like, social media was actually mentioned. Uh, I have a keychain of Mei and Yuzu, where it's like an Instagram mock-up, but that's funny. Anyways, <laughs> so here. Instead, you can have my phone number. No, thank you. His phone number. Huh? 
He seems like a pretty nice guy. Mmm, what? <laughs> he was interesting. A bit different from your usual crowd, huh? Yes, but I don't often encounter someone whose situation so closely resembles this so closely resembles mine. At the very least, I'm glad to have gained another ally. Hmm. What is this? This feeling. There it's like there's a weird murky lump in my chest. By the way, would you care to explain why you have your smartphone with you? Erk! <laughs> Yuzu. <laughs> Wait, who was jealous? Was it Yuzu or May? I'm trying to figure out who's the one feeling jealous. May or Yuzu? Whatever, anyways. Hey, Dad. Yes? I ran into someone at school earlier. It was the granddaughter of the head of Aihara Academy. Why didn't you tell me she was going to be there? Why do you ask? Is there a reason I should have told you? Well, well, you know, I'm going to take over the academy eventually. I feel like I should at least know what's going on when it comes to academy, business, and operations and stuff. Uh, sure. Well, perhaps a young person like you would have a chance at understanding her way of thinking. Huh? The heretical witch. Oh, he's picturing her naked. The old, his old man. Oh, hell no. That's the name of the members of the board of directors have been using to refer to that girl amongst themselves. The heretical witch. Wow. How? Oh, these Japanese men, they're, they're bad. From what I can tell, it seems she is dissatisfied with the board's current way of doing things. She's been paying visits to a number of academies in the area and trying to convince them to adopt her new propositions. If and when she becomes the first female director of Aihara Academy, it is likely she intends to reshape the school according to her ideals. I only hope that the changes she brings about don't simply serve to tear down everything her grandfather worked so hard to build. Oh, shut up. What, her not having an arranged marriage is going to fuck everything up? Of course. Old men. I understand how you feel, son. I've seen how dutifully she's worked ever since she was a young girl. But that's what makes it all the more mysterious. What could have possibly happened since then to cause such a drastic change in her behavior? One can only wonder. Dad, I... I know that it's been getting harder and harder to keep the academy afloat and that you've been considering turning it into a co-ed school to compensate. I know about all the stuff the academy is going through, but I, I guess I still felt like inheriting the academy, academy was just a vague, distant part of my long-term future. Okay, he's like a mirror of May, but like a straight dude. But now that I felt, now that I've met May again, and now that I've seen how much she's already working toward this future of her school, I can't help but feel like I should be doing more. I don't really know what she's like now or how much she's changed, but I definitely don't think she's a bad person. I want to try and prove that she's doing all this with good intentions. So please, Dad, let me help you. Let me be involved in this, too. So involved in the Academy, like the way that she's involved in it? As far as taking the, um, taking charge, I guess? Like, obviously she has inspired him. Well, this was a great chapter because it... It was 35 pages. Well, actually, 30, 39. So that's really good. We haven't had one like that in a while. Yuzu has a little encounter with jealousy. And then there is, you know, it involves a guy for the third time. <laughs> Come on, Saburo Uta. Don't make Yuzu have to chase down Mei again because of a guy. I'm joking. It's not going to happen. But, you know, we don't want to see that for real. He doesn't seem like a bad dude, I guess. He'll serve some sort of purpose. But it's just another way of bringing Yuzu and Mei together. And we had a little leg touching. So that was pretty lewd. All in all, yeah, this was a pretty enjoyable chapter. And um, what can I say? Uh, I'm happy with it. We got more Yuzu and Mei action. And it was focused on them. We got mention of social media. The reveal of um, Mei being called a heretical witch by all these old men. Uh, in the board of the rec in the board of directors of Aihara Academy is very telling, and it's 
you know, very reflective of the older, more traditional ways, I suppose. Because from what I understand and know, families like that, like a maze that are very bound by tradition and family honor, they still to this day, I think they do practice arranged marriages. So the fact that, yeah, May is going against that tradition and not outright stating it to the world, but to them that she is in love with Yuzu, her stepsister, and she's a lesbian. I mean, that, the fact that they're also not saying like, oh yeah, she's a heretical witch because she's a lesbian. It's like they're so, you know, disgusted by the fact that she has a relationship with a woman that they don't even want to state it. They're just saying that she is a heretical witch. So, I mean, that says a lot. So that was very interesting to me. God, that's so, so offensive to me, but you go, May. You go keep on disrupting, whether it's the old men or the citrus viewers of, or citrus readers that are disturbed by her character. I don't know. May is great. 1010 10. would read again. Uh, looking forward to future chapters. And stay tuned, as I said before, my previous video for my volume 5 Citrus Plus review, as well as another secret video coming up. Thank you again, and bye-bye.